Today, the Centers for Disease Control announced a startling discovery, long forgotten vials of smallpox, one of the deadliest and most feared diseases in history. It was thought to be wiped out, but there it was in a cardboard box in a storage room just outside Washington, D.C. We also face a new threat that the next epidemic uh, has a good chance of originating on a computer screen of a terrorist intent on using genetic engineering to create a synthetic version of the smallpox virus. Vials labeled smallpox found at a lab in Montgomery County. Smallpox is so deadly, only two labs in the entire world are allowed to have doses. Those vials were found at a Merck facility in Upper Gwinnett Township, Montgomery County, where vaccine research is conducted. You say, okay, what if uh, a bioterrorist brought smallpox to 10 airports? You know, how would the world respond to that. A truck hauling 100 monkeys collided with a dump truck outside Danville and three of the monkeys got out. They arrived in the U.S. last week from Mauritius, a country in eastern Africa. They were being taken from New York City to a CDC-approved quarantine facility. The three that escaped posed a health risk to the public, CDC officials told us today. McCakes can pass deadly viruses to humans. This morning, a Massachusetts man is in isolation after being diagnosed with the first case of monkeypox in the U.S. this year. Dr. Chin Hong says monkeypox can spread through the sharing of any bodily fluid. It behooves us all to think about a pandemic response. Could be that individuals are not as immune to monkeypox as they once were as a result of smallpox vaccination. That's why we see uh, the ordering of the vaccine. You know, we'll have to prepare for the next one. That you know, I'd say is, uh, will get attention this time.